So your pharma business is the biggest, but your consumer products are some of the best known brands that J&J &J has. And some of the news you announced this morning is you're relaunching your sort of historic, iconic Johnson's baby line to try to keep up with new trends for parents. Tell us about what you expect that relaunch to accomplish. Well, we're really excited about what we're doing with Johnson's baby. And, you know, the beauty of a brand like Johnson & Johnson is you're right, it does span all of healthcare. It's got the high-tech pharmaceuticals that's doing things like, you know, helping to hopefully someday find a cure for things like Ebola, HIV, multiple myeloma, but it also starts with things like our baby brand that goes back for more than 100 years. But you know what we're trying to do is actually be more like a startup with our baby brand. And that's what we're talking about today. It's a relaunch. And we're really focusing on, look, the, need, the changing needs of the millennial mom. And we realize that over the past few years that we probably got a little bit behind the curve. But what you're going to hear about today is how we've totally reformulated the brand, where we're changing and making sure we're using more natural ingredients. We've taken out many of the concerning products or ingredients that you know mothers didn't want in their products things like surfactants parabens and other and other ingredients and we've also made sure that we are really creating a conversation with the millennial mom so yeah we're really excited about the relaunch of baby and we think what it does is it makes it current it makes it relevant but at the same time it doesn't lose that that basic smell that basic touch that you expect from the johnson's baby line well, this comes after a couple of years you've had some um, pretty extreme headlines coming out of the lawsuits around the talc baby powder product. You know, I've heard from some folks they've lost trust in the brand because of those headlines that they're seeing and the concerns of some link to cancer from the talc baby products. Um, I talked with Jorge Mesquita, your head of consumer, who said you defend the brand, the science shows that there is no link to cancer, and that wasn't the driver behind the relaunch. Um, but how do you keep consumers' trust, perhaps win back their trust, in the midst of all these headlines? Well, look, we certainly understand that. And when it comes to babies, safety, high quality has got to be first and foremost in everything that we do. And so what we're talking about today is how do we take these legacy brands and really better position them for the future? You know, for example, let's start with clinical data and information. You know, J&J, &J, we have conducted more than 90% of the clinical trials. You know, and the millennial mom, they have a high expectation about data. They want to know, frankly, you know, do these products work? Are they safe and are they effective? And the fact that we're able to produce that kind of information behind our brands, that we share it with the broader community, is really important. So those are some of the steps that we're taking, you know, we think to make sure that the brands do well today, but also into the future. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.